Wow! It is Easter day, and everyone knows on Easter, you crack eggs over each other's heads, right? Sure. No. Cause she's crazy. What we're gonna do today is do celebrate Easter like everyone would. You know, they go do a scavenger hunt for eggs. We have a dozen eggs right here and uh, that's not a dozen, that's 11. Did someone break an egg? But yeah, obviously there's one egg missing right there. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but uh, what we're gonna do today is do a scavenger hunt, but have a little twist. Instead of going hunt for the eggs, we're gonna hunt for the good eggs, not the bad ones. I know this is a terrible explanation. Babe, take over and make, make sense for the people. All right, so the way this is gonna work today is we are going to be answering true or false questions. Honestly, just random questions, not really anything to do with Easter, but you know, the eggs are enough. And if you get a question incorrect, then you have to take one of the eggs, smash it against your head, and hope that it's hard boiled. Because if it's not, you're gonna get real egg heady. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even know you were saying the joke right there. But yeah, so pretty much, uh, you get a question, you get it wrong, you grab an egg, slam. So you obviously want the you want the egg to be hard boiled. If you don't know what hard boiled is, it means it's not gonna splatter all over your freaking face. So uh, yeah, who is up first? on this fine Easter day. You know what, I will go first. Okay, I'll ask her a question. You guys try to guess along too. If you think it's true or false, you don't have a little moment, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my Italian coming out of me. But let's go ahead. And get cracking. Okay, this first question, um, I feel like they might've had a spelling error. Okay. But I don't know, I'm just gonna read it how it is. Okay. The pointed spire of the Empire State Building was designed to more Zeppelin airships. Ships. What? The pointed spire of the Empire State Building was designed to moor Zeppelin airships. I think it, they meant to say warn, but it says more. Ah! Whoa, Jesus. I'm suffering some from some allergies, so just bear with me. No, I have no clue what the question is. Oh my God. The pointed spire, the tip. Okay. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> okay, we'll try this again, okay? The pointed spire of the Empire State Building was designed to warn Zeppelin airships. True. The correct answer is true. Good job. You don't get an egg. So we're gonna do five rounds. So there's a chance no one even gets an egg, but I'm assuming someone's gonna get an egg, so. And we don't even know. All these could like not even be hard boiled. We literally have no idea what is in the box, but not right, babe, let's go. Give me my question. Five Olympic rings signify the five sports hosted at the first Olympics in ancient Greece. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Do you need me to repeat? No, I know the question. There's got to be more than five Olympic sports, right? Maybe a winter. Did it say winter Olympics or summer? The five Olympic rings signify the five sports hosted at the first Olympics in ancient Greece. I'm going to say false. You are... Oh, thank God. Does it say what they stand for? Wow, this is so uneventful. It stands for the five major regions. Of I the knew world. that. I was gonna say, I think it's regions, but okay, let's go, baby. <laughs> Andromeda is the closest star to Earth. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, that's false. False? Yeah. The correct answer is false. God dang it. <laughs> the sun, 93 millions away, is our closest star. Wow. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I don't like that. The I in Apple products, as in iPad and iPhone, stands for ingu ingenuity. 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 No. Ingenuity. Oh man. Would Steve Jobs do that? He was a pretty like simple guy, so I don't know if he would do that. I feel like that's a big word. Obviously. I feel like I could mean like, it honestly could be, I'm saying true. It's false! God dang it, what does it stand for? It stands for internet. Are you serious? Yep. I knew he wanted to do it. Or on the individual. I literally knew he would not have used that word. God dang it, all right, well now I gotta choose the egg. See, there's big ones and there's small ones. Just pick an egg. Stop being so calculated, it's boring. You gotta go full crack. Wait here, here's a towel, put it on your lap just in case. Oh my God, come on baby, come on baby. I feel like that's the egg. Ow, it's stuck in my hair. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's the hard boiled Oh, egg. thank God. Oh. Ew, that's a 
That's like a nut. That's like a partial. It's like a poached egg. That's like a partial hard boiled egg. That actually kind of hurt. I think I went way too hard on that. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it was actually the egg. I was like, I feel like this is oozing on my head right now. But okay, let's go. All right. Ooh, here you go, ready? NASCAR traces its origins to bootleggers outrunning the police during prohibition. I'll go true on that one. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. Are you kidding me? The pyramids of Gezaia are the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that remain substantially intact. Um. These are very sophisticated true and false questions. Yeah, my God. I don't even know true because that just sounded way too good to be false. Correct. Oh, baby. Let's go. HIV and AIDS is the disease affecting the artist in the Tony Award winning musical Rent. True. That is correct. Oh my <laughs> this is so dumb. How are you getting these all right? Oh my God. The Oscar winning film Guess Who's Coming to Dinner deals with interracial marriage. True. That is correct. Let's go, baby. I don't even think we're counting what round Yeah, I don't know what are. round it is. We're going until someone gets splatted. According to the Declaration of Independence, the people have nothing to lose but their chains. What? Uh, I'm just gonna go false, because that seems very specific in there. Oh life. my God, true. It's correct, you're right. Good job. Yes, I did it right. Yeah, yeah. Louis Barelli, creator of the Barelli system of writing for the blind. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Braille. <sighs> okay. Let me start over. Louis Braille, creator of the Braille system of writing for the blind, was blind himself. It's feasible. <laughs> but could he have done that? Probably. True. That is correct. All right, God, this is this booty. Is so We're going suicides. We're going back and forth. Screw the questions. Let's go. This is called egg roulette. It's kind of like Russian roulette, but we're using eggs. All right, Claire, you up. Ow. It hurts, <laughs> don't it? That's what I said. I said, it broke my head. Oh my God, this has got to be real. Go. <laughs> yes. Thank God. It feels, it feels juicy. Ow! What the F was that? Ow! Is it frozen? It literally did not crack. Ow! It literally didn't crack. Try it, that freaking hurt. Christ. Oh my God, ow. Yeah, I think it broke my head. What happened? Was that a fake egg? I, it's got that hurts so bad. There's no way. It's gonna split. If it's a real egg, it's gonna get everywhere. Oops. Is it alive? That hurt. That was literally the hardest thing. What was that? Ow! It's still a ringing my like I feel in my ears. All right, well. I guess I got kind of lucky on that. I mean, I got a concussion, but whatever. How are we gonna wash this towel? Uh, in the washer. But what if we put it in the dryer to make scrambled eggs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I I'm guess actually, it's me next. God, I hope you get one and knock yourself out. God dang it. Ow, it really hurts. Like, it really hurts. <laughs> Ow! God! I guess I got another real one. God! I'm gonna crack it on your head. No! Wait, what the? That's not even a fake egg. What the? What are these chickens made out of? Steel? How are yours so easy? Because I'm hitting it hard against my head. Yeah, yeah. Ow! What is up with these <laughs> eggs? Oh my god. There's two eggs left. Should we ro Rochambeau for him? I want the pink one. Well, maybe I want the pink one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Easy. I'm taking this one. Go! That feels real juicy. I think I got the real one. I hope I'm wrong.
do I do? I don't know what to do with my hails. Ha! 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 So what? How many were fake? Two? I guess. Or real? Two eggs or real? I, I have a concussion. Babe, oh my god, you're gonna break the mic. I like wanna puke. <laughs> Alright, let's get this video over with. Yeah, well, there you have it. I apparently lost, I guess. I also have a concussion. I wanna know why some of those eggs were not breaking. That one egg, I was like, bah, Like I literally bah. went, wham, and it was not breaking. Like, those eggs or those chickens, props. This was pretty much a large failure, you know. On, you didn't even get any egg to your brain. I have a concussion and yolk stuck in my scalp. Scalp. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, this Easter miracle surprise thing, kind of a fail. We pretty much nailed all the true false questions and we just wanted to go smashing and uh, my brain hurts. My brain actually is mush. Yeah, those are really hard. But that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. Make sure before you leave to like and subscribe. And we hope you had a very happy Easter with your families and I hope you all get a bunch of cavities from all the candy you got. But we're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Woo!